Hello, Dan from Bookbugs and Dragon Tales here, just uh, doing a quick video to show you how to upload your Bertline stock into WooCommerce and um, uh, WordPress. So in Bertline, if you go to your back office and click on reports and then go to your custom reports, if you've spoken to me already, you should have a report in there that says one web export book bugs. Notice the branding there. I can change its name if you want. Uh, click on it and click on print. And then really important here, click on the print to file tick box. It should predefine the location where it's going to save it. If you just click OK, click OK again, and it will um, save the latest uh, stock file into that folder. OK, so that folder should exist if you're a Bertline user because we always create it. So now you want to pop into WordPress. Uh, so go to your website, log in, um, and on the uh, top left menu, go to dashboard. Okay, um, if you've got WooCommerce already installed, it's a plugin. Um, so if you haven't, then you can install it fairly easily. It's free. Um, it'll take PayPal payments. Anyway, yes, go to products on the left hand side and then all products. And then if you've already got products in there, you'll see a list of products, uh, but you've got an import option there as well. So click on import. And then you'll be able to choose the file uh, that we've just saved from Bertline. So click on choose file. If you've done it before, it should remember where the file is. Otherwise, browse to your CA folder. Uh, select test.csv. Um, it's called test because uh, I haven't been bothered to change it since I tested it. Uh, leave this unticked. It lets you um, update existing stock which will become useful later so leave it unticked click on import and then um, because of the way i've designed this report it should know where it's putting all of the bertline data into wordpress so just select uh, the only one you should need to change is this tags one where you'll want to change it to space separated otherwise click import and you're off it should import all of your stock with your images and uh, your, um, uh, yeah, you'll then be able to update them at a later point. Um, this takes a little while. Uh, if you want to skip, you probably, I, I couldn't work out on this software how to uh, fast forward. So you can fast forward to about five minutes and 52 and we'll pick it up again. If you want to carry on listening, I'm going to put some music on for you. That'd be quite fun. Shop with books in the 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 shop with
Right, okay, so that's finished. Uh, as you can see, it's just updated or inserted the new ones for me because I already had my stock in there. Now what I'm going to do is go back twice um, and run that import again, but ticking this box to just update things. Now, if uh, you're having trouble with um, stock going in, it might be because the images aren't, uh, it takes too long to load the images. So you can just go uh, and import without the images the first time and then import just with SKU selected and uh, images selected. It tend, uh, That can work a lot quicker. It's not a problem for my site, but um, I have run across other customers' sites, possibly with slower broadband where it's been a problem. So yeah, um, now if you were doing um, an import and you just wanted to update your stock levels, um, i.e. how many you've got on the shelves, then you can run it selecting do not import on everything except for uh, stock and SKU. You've always got to have SKU in because that's what tells you what book it is. Um, but yeah, a, a little trick is if it is going incredibly slowly or just looks like it's frozen, um, run it with, uh, in, with the images not ticked. Um, and again, if you're doing an update of your stock levels, run it with um, uh, just stock and SKU ticked. Uh, that's it. Um, I mean, it's a familiar, it, it should be similar for most other sites. I've got an export set up for Squarespace, uh, Wix, uh, Shopify, a couple of others. Um, so uh, give us a shout if you need those um, or if you need this export as well. Um, hopefully we can all get our stock online and start uh, filling in where the dreaded A is not uh, supplying books anymore. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, uh, also obviously watch the video that I've made previously about setting up Google Remote Desktop as well because these two combined means you can get all your stock uploaded and sell. Okay, uh, good luck everyone and uh, see you.